Hey guys, so I'm on here with a new product line that I've been hiding from y'all and I've been using it for quite a while so I can finally reveal it to you guys because pre-orders will be coming out soon so check the description box down below. The brand I'm talking about is Strands of Faith. A new brand from someone that I have been connected to on Instagram and her hair is absolutely gorgeous. So I also put her Instagram social media handle down there too so you can see her hair and cause she uses her own products. But yes, this is what I've been using. I've been holding out on you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works in my hair. Okay, so let's be real about the state that my hair is in. It's super dry, like the camera does not even show how dry it is. But um, yeah, I had neglected it for quite a while. So I'm gonna refresh it with the Strands of Faith Cleansing Co-Wash. Now co-washing is just just washing with the conditioner so you can use any conditioner but the reason why we have a product like this is to make sure it does actually cleanse as well as moisturize I'm gonna follow the co-wash with the strands of faith intense deep conditioning treatment to restore the moisture that my hair does not have right now check the description box for my specific review of these products but I'm gonna wash and deep condition off camera and I'll do that I've just hopped out of the shower. My hair is still wet. It's absolutely naked without any product. I have it in one, two, three, four sections. And I'm going to use the Strands of Faith leave-in conditioner to moisturize my hair. As you see, the consistency is more on the runny side. I don't mind at all. As long as the leave-in has a lot of slip, which it does. But I'm only letting you know just in case you do have a preference for thicker or thinner products. After moisturizing, I'm applying olive oil. So use any oil of your choice to seal in the moisture. I'm gonna brush it through before twisting it up and moving on to moisturize the next section. Now to style my hair, I'm gonna use the Strands of Faith Twisting Butter. This is what it will look like. Mine's actually does not have the label on it, but the butter is more solid than a creamy product, obviously, so once you tap it, you don't get a lot on your hands. You just kinda of get like a little bit, and it's uh, not oily at all, which I love. So I'm gonna start on this first section. Apply a little of the butter to your hair with this, or any butter actually, a little bit goes a long way. Brush it through, and then simply begin twisting. Now when I twist, I like to advise to twist tightly especially at the root because when you get to the end of the twist and you let it go it does naturally loosen up on its own so I imagine the tighter you twist the more rounds it'll get so you have more definition moving on to the next section I'm going to do the same thing take a small section this is about how much I'm applying to each section you cannot too much get heavy-handed with this but I will say this is the only butter that my hair likes it's the only one that has not weighed it down that has not made it greasy oily or you know heavy and that's why I really like this butter because I do have fine hair although it is type 4 so this butter is definitely light enough for those who have hair like mine make sure at the end of each section you coil it to help it stay I'm gonna speed past the next twist because the setup is pretty simple for twist outs but really quickly I want to show you the effect that this product has on the look of my curls as I brush it through my curls do define and clump up I'm finishing up on the last twist and doing a quick length check. Once I finish, I can go ahead and air dry or dry under a hood. I'm gonna pat my hair dry to help speed up the process. If you air dry, it'll be overnight, but if you choose to do a hooded dryer, it'll be about an hour and 15 minutes. It's time for takedown. I'm gonna add oil to my hands for this process. To unravel them, you're just going to grab the twist at the root and pop open the two twist pairs. Do this all over your head and when you're done, you'll see the definition of the twist. The butter has really got it defined. I'm gonna go ahead and further separate it so it can give it more volume and a more natural look. Now, as always, when I separate my twist, I start at the root, feeling for natural separation and I follow my fingers down that separation to try and get as little frizz as I can. Also, try not to separate your hair too much. The more you separate, the more you can run into frizz. Here is my unfluffed product, looking very much like a hat so far, but what's most important is the definition that's there. So now I just need to try and fluff my hair and give it some volume and shape 
without messing up the definition that the twist has given me. As far as the feel of my hair, it's very light and fluffy. Like I said, this butter does not leave my hair oily. It does not leave it heavy or weighed down. It almost feels like I don't have any product on my hair. The only reason why I know it's product there is because the products smell good. But that's all that I have for this twist out and this review. Give this video a thumbs up. If you want to go ahead and pre-order your products, make sure you like. Because if you pre-order, that means you like the video. So subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching.